Okay, this is the final part. This is five um, uh, part. Well, number five of the uh, Max templates tutorial. Okay, uh, we need to go into our project file because uh, a few things we want to do. We want to put the original sand dollar file, not this one. This is our modified one. The original, um, which will be in the original art stationery contents. Just remember, this is the original copy that we made. So we want to um, take this file here and copy it. And we're going to put it back into the original. So we bring up another finder window, go to Macintosh hard drive, library, application support, Apple, mail, Stationery, Apple, Contents, Resources, and Stationery Folder, Contents, Resources. And if we have a look here, there's the the one that we want to replace. So we'll paste that in and replace it. Okay. So now our um, Mac Mail, original Mac Mail, is all back um, to good order. And if you have a look here right-clicking on the package con contents, navigating through to here, uh, you'll see the sand dollar one is back as it should be. Okay, we'll close that down because uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on um, the modified sand dollar file and there it is there. Uh, we need to right click on that. Well, we'll rename it first. I'm going to call this Tony dot mail stationery. <coughs> and I've used a capital T. So if you, whatever you do, it needs to be identical. So if you've used capitals, then obviously you need to do that. So right click on this, show package contents. Okay, contents, resources. And we're interested in this description playlist here. Uh, so we'll click it, it'll open up in a uh, text document. And we're going to change this name here, Sand Dollar. We're going to call it Tony with a capital T, but you can call yours whatever you like. And make sure it's dot stationary afterwards. This is an ID string down here, and we need to change that as well. And the way we do that is using uh, an application which is in Mac, it's called Terminal, and you'll find it in your utilities folder. So if you navigate there to your applications folder, um, applications, and scroll on down, you should find utilities. And if we go in here, we should find the terminal. And I can run alphabetically, so we should find it down here. There it is, double click it to open it. And here we have terminal. Now in here we're going to type uuidgen and enter. And instantly it has generated an ID key. It's an ID string. So we'll copy that. And we'll go back here and we'll paste it in here. Paste. Okay, now the file, save that. And then we need to open up a new one, a new text document. So text edit document, so new. Just uh, paste in that string in there and just move it all over. Okay, we can get out of here, type in exit and enter. And then uh, quit terminal. Right, next bit we need to do is uh, we need to change a few files in, in here. So we've description playlist is done. Um, we need to change one of these lproj, um, dot lproj, I suppose it's project, it uh, stands for. Um, so we'll open the English lproj, and we'll open up in text edit again, type the name in that you want, leave the quotes in there, 
file, so shut that down. Okay, there's a couple of other L projects here that we don't really need. These are the foreign ones, so move them to trash. Unless, of course, you want to go through every single one and change them one by one. Uh, they're not needed, uh, so I would just go through myself, just delete them, send them to trash. Two more at the bottom. Move to trash, and there's how our files actually look now. So we've got uh, a description playlist there that we've changed. We've also changed the English Elproj file. Okay, that's that done. So the next thing we'll need to do now is we'll need to go back into the uh, original um, Mac on your hard drive, uh, Mac Mail. So the hard drive library application support Apple Mail stationary Apple contents resources. We're going in the stationary folder here. Go to contents resources, and we're going to put our file, the one we've just renamed, in here. But we've got a table of contents to deal with first. So. Um, go to uh, double click it to open table of contents and this is how you basically put in a new table of con well a new listing within the table of contents I highlight everything I've done there in the blue exactly the same as I've done it and then we will copy this so right click or control click copy now watch where I put the cursor now this is most important just below right on the edge of the page right click paste You'll notice we've got two p pst, dot mail stationary ones here. So we're going to change the new one we've made. And remember, it's your name, I or whatever you're going to call it. Mine is Tony with a capital T. And that's done there. Now we've got to change this uh, ID string again. So, or should I say ID key? And we've made a copy of that, so we'll copy that. And we'll go in here and paste it in. Paste. And there we are. They'll be identical, those two. That's identical to the, this one here. OK, so we can close this bottom document because we won't need it now. Uh, just double check you've got everything right with the name. And close that. We're not going to save that one. We don't need it. But this one here, uh, we'll go to File and Save. And that's done. You can now close that. If you're happy that everything's right there, just close it. Okay, we'll close that. Now what we'll, we'll do now is um, we'll just double check we've got everything right before we place this main stationery in here. So we're, we're going to put it in the our, our modified one into the main one. So copy that and paste it in. Sources there, paste, and instantly you will see we have our new Tony dot mail stationery in there. And there it is. So if we have a look at the package contents, contents, resources, and there they all are, complete with um, our description playlist and the English Elproj. Okay, that's all done. So we can close that up, close this up, and open up our mail. And this is what it will look like. So we'll go to New Message and then click on Stationery, new Show Stationery, and then go to the Stationery category. There's our original sand dollar. There it is. And there's the, the one we've made personalized. And so you can just click on it, it goes blue, and you can start typing in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the others as well. Um, just uh, send me a message if there's something you're not about. Happy New Year to you all. Bye.